Hi guys, this is a package I got from High Model and it's the Storm OSD. And if you buy it now, they actually supply it with um, the casing for the actual OSD, which is fantastic. Um, that there is the actual Storm itself. Uh, I've got some cables here. That's for um, your main controller. This is like a little control interface to allow you to actually change settings on the actual board. Um, current sensor. Some cabling. This is for power to the board. That there is the GPS unit. Uh, these GPSs are fantastic. They get a lock really quickly. Very impressive GPSs. Even indoors I'm getting, getting a, a good GPS lock in no time at all. And also servo leads with it. So we'll go through and run through how to basically connect this up. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so this is the Storm OSD itself. Um, you can see you've got uh, servo connectors here. And also same type of connectors down this end. Uh, this is for your video camera and also your video transmitter. And over this end is where you're gonna connect your servos and connect this to your receiver. Uh, the key thing to keep in mind is you basically have your signal wire up top. The first one is a signal wire, followed by your positive and your negative. So just remember with your servo leads, etc., the negative is always on the bottom. Positive, and then you've got your um, signal. The first connector here, this is your um, RSSI. Now I'm running uh, FreeSky at the moment, so I haven't got RSSI out of my receivers. Um, so I'm not using the RSI, RSSI option. Second one is your ailerons, and that goes to your receiver. Uh, the next one is your elevator, and that also plugs into your receiver. And then you have your aileron servo connected to the fourth one, and then your elevator, followed by your flight um, modes, which is like your, um, this is your uh, um, PA mode, sorry, normal mode, which is normal flying mode, you're in control of the aircraft. Um, the second mode is PA mode, which is pilot assist, followed by the third mode, which is um, return to home. And the last connector is for your display control. So what you can do is actually cycle through three display options. First one is with the OSD, full display. Second one is um, partial OSD. It's got the OSD on the bottom portion of the screen. And uh, the final option is no OSD display at all. So you can cycle through that on your radio. So what we'll do is use this FreeSky receiver and step through it. So what you would do, as you can see, you've got the, uh, in this case, in these wires, um, the brown represents your negative. So that goes on the bottom. On the second connector, and that will plug into my ailerons which is number one. Next one, elevator, which connects to number two on this receiver, the way I've got mine set up. And then what we have, I've got a couple of servos out here. So what we have is first servo, obviously brown on the bottom again, and that can represent aileron, and this servo can represent elevator. So that's connected up now. I'll just zoom out a bit. Actually, I can probably pull these guys over here. So they're connected up. Um, and what you'll also have is these two leads. The first one being to cycle through your different flight modes, as in normal flight mode, pilot assist mode, and return to home mode. If I can get this guy in. That goes through there. And in my instance, now my fourth, my next, next, I was at um, connection number three is for my throttle 
4 is for my right arm. So 5 will become the different modes. And this will go to channel 6, which will allow me to cycle through. Cycle through my different OSD modes. So there you go, we've got servo, servo, um, and we have this guy here, connects up like so, that'll connect up over here, and that's connected. Now I'll show you the actual, um, you like to solder on your own type of connectors to this, depending on what sort of connectors you actually use. Um, this will be your um, power out, your power in, so your battery is going to connect onto this side. Um, and this will go to your ESE. Um, and once you've got your different, both connectors on there, you can actually heat shrink this on here. I'll show you what that looks like on the model when I, when I do that. And finally, I'll just show you this close up. Finally, we have the actual uh, GPS module. Just make sure you connect this up the right way. You've got a large connector there and a smaller connector here. And this will only go in one direction. Now that doesn't want to go in, I'm not going to force it at all. Slide it this way. And you can see it's already gone in. It hasn't connected up, but it's gone in quite easily. So just make sure you don't go the wrong way with this, otherwise you will damage the unit, don't force it in. As you can see, this direction it goes in, and all you've got to do is pop it in place, and that's done. Okay, so this is the setup I have in the Phantom. Uh, the OSD sits right here in the middle. I'm using a different box to what comes standard, only because it allows for ventilation, and I can easily pop this off should I need to... Um, do any uh, firmware updates, etc. It just makes it a lot easier rather than screwing and unscrewing. Um, but anyway, uh, the OSD basically sits here. I've got some shock absorption underneath it, uh, which just helps eliminate some of the vibration for the gyros, etc. Uh, we've got our main control interface here, which is your up, down, and your selection button or reset for the OSD. This is our current sensor. What I've had to do is add an extension lead just so I could bring it all the way through to here. That was pretty easy, just a little bit of soldering, so I added a bit of an extension lead there. That works well. Uh, over here, what we have here is um, these go, these four cables here, one, two, three, four, they go to my uh, receiver. So we've got aileron, elevator, then we've got the control for the uh, mode, as in your standard flight mode, PA mode and RTH mode and obviously your display cycling for your OSD and these two go to either one of the servos that I use on this wing. Uh, this is running Elevon mixing so it's a little bit different to um, running a standard uh, elevator and ailerons but I'll run through that later on in a later video explaining exactly how that works and how the um, menus on the OSD works including the uh, updating of the firmware which is pretty straightforward to do. And at this end, okay, so we've got the GPS over here. Um, what else have we got? We've got this cable here, which slides through underneath here, and that goes, that goes to my um, transmitter. And then what we have is the other cable over here, this one here, goes straight through to the FPV camera. And my GoPro here sits on the nose over here. Receiver's down there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, in the description as per usual. And um, I'll hopefully pretty soon follow up with the firmware update uh, of the OSD. So this OSD is actually running firmware 1.04, which is what we updated it to. I got this originally from High Model, and it was running 1.03 beta. Um, 
so yeah so if you're running a, a beta software you may wish to actually update it I'll put a link in the description for this OSD from High Model. They were actually kind enough to get it to me very, very quickly, so I'm impressed with that. Um, and we'll follow it up with another video, video shortly. Thanks for watching.